Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this Power Up webinar, taking a look at Adobe Story and Adobe Prelude CS6. This is new software and, and really is at the beginning of the entire workflow that Adobe has put together. So let's take a look first at Story. By the way, we have a new subscription service. All of our online video training, tutorials, and webinars are now available via subscription. This includes all of our Final Cut Pro 10 and our new Adobe CS6 training. For one low monthly fee, you get streaming access anywhere, anytime via the internet. Plus, subscribers can attend any live webinar for free. This is a fast and low-cost way to access all of our online training. To learn more, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. This is the first webinar in a series looking at Adobe's new CS6 release. This week, we'll look at Adobe Story and Prelude, which covers scripting, pre-production, and getting ready to edit. Next week, we'll take a look at Adobe Premiere Pro CS6, both from the point of view of switching from Final Cut Pro to Premiere, as well as using Premiere for video editing and some of the new tools that it provides. Later this month, we'll look at Adobe Audition, which is used for audio editing and mixing. Adobe Story is a one-stop application for pre-production scripting, collaboration, documentation, organization, and scheduling for a wide variety of media projects. It began as an Adobe CS Live service and has expanded to include both in-the-cloud and local hard disk versions. The power of Adobe Story in addition to storing documents in the cloud to enable collaboration is its role in pre-production scripting and planning plus a tight integration with Premiere Pro. Adobe Prelude is designed for the review, capture, logging, selection, and export of tapeless media in preparation for editing. It's new with the CS6 release, and it works with both Premiere Pro CS6 and Final Cut Pro 7. It's available, however, only with Adobe Production Premium CS6 as opposed to Story, which is available separately. Premiere Pro is designed to work with tape-based media. Prelude is designed to work with tapeless media. So what I want to cover today is we're going to start with Adobe Story. I'll show you how to create new projects and scripts, how to set up collaboration. I'll show you how to add the cast, sets, tags, categories, and camera angles. And I'll show you how to export a script for Premiere Pro. Then we'll switch over to Prelude, and I'll show you how to review and ingest clips, how to log and select clips, and how to export clips also for Premiere Pro. This is Story. I've logged in. This is the hard disk-based version, but I'm accessing all this information on the web. This is the Story interface, and it has three main sections. The Home section takes you home where you can do video tutorials and get help and, and learn more about how to use the program. We then create projects. Projects are collections of information. So, for instance, here I have a project called a dramatic project. Inside that I have multiple scripts, not just versions, although we'll talk about that, but different scripts. I have schedules, I have character bios, research information, web links, whatever I need to help me create this project. Inside a project, we then have authoring, which allows us to look at a specific script. If we want to create a new project, we go over to the Projects tab and say, let's create a new project. And we'll call this Comedy, com, C-O-M-E-D-Y, Projects. And now we've created a new project category into which I can put scripts. So I have Comedy Projects, I have Two Real Guys, which is my website podcast. I have documentaries that I'm putting together. In other words, a project is a container for multiple elements. Let's go back to our dramatic projects. And let's say that, that I want to create oh, a new script. Well, if we go over here, we create something new from the New button. So I'm going to just click on the New button. It says, what do you want to create? Well, there's a lot of different things we can create. We've got a film script format, which is single column TV script. We have AV script, which has got two columns, a multi-column script, character bio, production schedule, log line, pitch, research note. Well, in this particular case, I want to create a film script. And we'll call this a new script. 
With a little bit of humming and whistling, it creates a new script. It shows up inside the scripts category up here, opens up the authoring section, and inside the authoring section appears the script with the name that I just gave it. Well, my script is called The Edge. Oh, boom, pom, pom. And it's written by me, and it's based on nothing in particular. <laughs> For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.biz store and look for Webinar 67.